Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, happy to be back. Yes, and it's a great day to be back because what I'd like to tell you, you know, I, I've been trading these products for a long time, okay? And we know that, you know, the leveraged products are definitely for traders, okay? There's no doubt about it. But what I'd like to talk a little bit about, okay, is that, you know, there's plenty of folks that, you know, you have so many more of them now that are in different sectors. And there's plenty of folks that, you know, the, if you're in for this market for a long period of time, it's pretty cool if you can get close to delta neutral. And delta neutral, folks, means that you just set, set something up on the other side without selling, without the tax implication. And Direction has plenty of products like that, um, you know, that they could, you can protect yourself, meaning that, okay, listen, if you're in the housing business, you can get nail, right? I mean, yep. um, you know, there, I know you can't push this, but if you can just explain some of those sectors that you actually have, Dave, you know, because, you know, there's plenty of people that, you know, if you're in the market for 10 or 20 years, well, that's good. If, you, if we get a downdraft going, you can protect yourself for a month. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's talk about hedging. Obviously, a, a sell-off like we've seen in September, really exuberated by t today's market moves, gets everyone thinking, how do I protect my portfolio? Yes. And one uh, one of the opportunity sets that we offer is these inverse ETFs. So what this means is that they offer the uh, opposite of the return. So let's say markets are down 1%, it would be up accordingly. Uh, now, a couple ways to think about that. Uh, so I think folks are probably familiar with uh, SPXL, that's the 3X bull on the S&P 500. The yes. bear is SPXS. So this is a tool, let's say going in today, uh, someone wanted to put on a hedge in their portfolio of the short term, I'd look at that 3X exposure and against your longs, you're gonna be doing quite well today. But if you want to have something that kind of can be a little bit of a longer term holding, you can't. You, you, you still have to pay attention to it. Understand to your point, what how, how much hedge ratio do I want to have out, have on? You can look at something like SPDN. So this is just one times the inverse of the S and P 500, and because of that, you have the ability to use it for slightly longer time periods without some of the negative negatives that can come in from comp compounding. Now, to be honest. You get the returns of SPDN this year because markets have, have effectively were on a straight line much of the year. It's going to be down. But in a month like September, whether you believe in seasonality, whether you're using other technical indicators, uh, it could be really a powerful tool to help uh, buffer against days like today. Oh, there's no doubt, man. No, I see this. This is pretty cool, man. I actually didn't know that you had a one-to-one -one on the S&P, too. Yeah. That is huge. So, folks, it is SPDN. And what's so cool, as, as Dave just said, this is something – that if you think the S&P is going to go lower, the good news is that, you know, you can put this on and say, okay, as my portfolio is going down, this is going up a bit, okay, it, you know, it just less risk in the marketplace. Um, you know, if you, bottom line, think we're going to go down too quick, well, then you could do the, you know, the, the, the ratio trade. Uh, it's something that I just would love you investors and traders to look into because it's important and it's amazing, Dave, that you actually could put them on and people save a lot, can save a lot of money. I'm not get as freaked out when you, I mean, because we haven't had a correction in so long, right? I mean, I was psyched coming into the office because I'm saying to myself, I haven't, I haven't talked to Dave with a Dow down, you know, uh, 900 in like five or six years. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, and we haven't even been below the 50-day moving average in the S&P 500. Not that that's an end-all, be-all ratio, but it's generally a guide of just how kind of easy returns have been. It is. Um, so what's interesting is, you know, everyone's asking for the sell-off. Whether this continues, these are opportunities where you want to put, either put some of that cash to work on the long side or look at hedging the longs you might have. Another use, because uh, we just got through another busy earnings season, that these inverse products can have is let's say you have a portfolio that's tech heavy or semiconductor heavy. Yes. Whether you're using the ETF or the individual names, we really see a lot of activity on names like Tech uh, uh, Tech S or on Sox S to provide that hedge on that week when everyone's reporting your Nvidia's and every that are moving the index, just to give you that buffer. Because to your point, the last thing you want to have to do unless you, uh, the fundamentals of the company have changed or your opinion of the company or whatever indicators you're using change is sell longs in a day like today. Yes. Uh, again, particularly if you put them on for a reason. So these tools um, can, can be used for that. And, and I, I like them as well because options have never been easier to trade for investors, but they involve different types of risks. Uh, inverse ETFs have their own type of risk, but 
it's just a good way where, again, you can keep the core of your portfolio or your trading book, however you want, whatever your, your outlook or, or, or thesis is, and use a tool like this for a small outlay of capital to provide that buffer when you, when you might need it uh, at, at the worst possible time for a market. Uh, There's no the best doubt. possible time. Yeah, exactly. no, and as Dave just brought up, the option market, folks, what happens on a day like today, and listen, I trade a lot of options, you can't buy them today because your premium is so high. The, your product is where it's at on a day. It really, it really is, Dave. Do you know what I mean? Because what ends yeah. up happening, I was looking, even looking at the spreads in the option market, they're, they're outrageous. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they get blown through right away when the when realized volatility increases. They do. Well, listen, we appreciate the update. Look forward to speaking to you in two weeks. Talk soon. Thanks, Dave. Have a great one.